it's time to get the Husqvarna Viking Designer Diamond Royale turned on and ready to go. We'll get it set up. We're going to show you how to thread the machine and wind a bobbin and get you started here. So first off, you're going to go ahead and plug it in. Next, go ahead and turn it on. You got your on off switch over here. And while it's loading up, I'm going to show you, you have a foot control with a retractable cord. So go ahead and pull that out to get to the length that you want. I love that little sound. It's so refreshing as we come in each morning to sit down to sew. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead, plug that in, goes right next to the cord, and then just set that on the floor. Another thing that I've also pulled out is my little stylus. It does have a place for a ribbon or a loop, so if you tend to, to drop it, you can even hook and wrap that ribbon around the top handle here, kind of keeps it so it doesn't um, keep rolling away, but there is the little holder to the, in the place. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up and I'm going to take our our thread we're going to take a blank bobbin out of our front of our machine here now these bobbins are specific for a Husqvarna Viking so first off there is an H on the top of a, a Viking bobbin that H is always going to be on top so when I put it on top here the H is up and when I put it into the machine, the H is up. So you never put it in wrong. It's wonderful. Next, I'm going to take my spool of thread. So since this thread is what I call a cross wound thread, the thread has X's on it versus a stack thread. You know what I'm talking about where the thread kind of goes right up the spool. Um, that thread I like to put on the vertical spool pin. But for this one, I'm going to, I've matched up my spool with a, an appropriate spool cap. And now we're going to start to get ready to wind a bobbin. So there's two ways to wind a bobbin. Number one, you can go over the silver bar, down, and make sure you hold the thread and click it, click, into the pre-tensioner. Then we can come right over here to wind our bobbin. Now, I mentioned that there's two ways. The second way is to actually go ahead and go all the way through the machine, through the needle, underneath the foot, across the front of the machine, and up to this same guide. So whichever way you want to do um, is up to you. Usually when I wind finer thread, like for my embroidery bobbins, I like to wind it through the machine, like all the way through all the parts and down through the needle. It really kind of makes that work well. Now what I'm doing is, I've got a little kink in my thread here, I am putting the thread up through from the inside out into the little hole of the top. Now when I put that down, that means that it's coming up and so I can hold on to it. As soon as I engage the bobbin winding mechanism, I'm gonna hold on to this straight up with my hands, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers a few times, I'm gonna hold up, I'm not gonna let go there, and I'm going to notice that it, there's a bobbin winding screen. I'm gonna push play, and that's gonna start to wind. As I hold this nice and tight, it breaks off. And so it really is, a, should not leave a little bit of thread, but if it does, I'll trim that off. And as this winds, if I wanna slow it down a little bit, I can, oh, and if I don't wanna fill it as full, I'll push the stop button and that will stop it from winding. But it actually has already finished filling and so it flips off when it's done. When you're done here, you can lift the bobbin up and there's a little cutter at the top. Pull that across the top and towards you and it cuts the thread so you don't actually need to cut it with scissors yourself. Now once again, we're gonna take the bobbin and with the H up, we're gonna come down here and drop it in. Now we will do a closer video about inserting the bobbin. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this quickly now. There's a little click and over the top here and underneath the little cutter. Before I cut the thread, I like to put the door back on cut the thread at the very end. So that is all ready to go, and I don't have to bring that bobbin thread up. If you've had to do that on other machines, no need anymore. So first off, our thread goes over the silver guide, and I like to hold on to it, because I want to come over the top and straight down. Now right in here, people always ask, well, what side of this little fin, this metal fin, do I go on? And it doesn't matter which side. You just need to make sure your presser foot is up. My foot is up, but if you're unsure, go ahead and touch the up arrow on the front of the machine. If it's down, those tension discs are closed and the thread doesn't go where it needs to be. But I like to hold on to it as I continue to thread. Notice I'm almost threading with my left hand. Yes, get used to it. It's a lot easier. Now, as I come up here, I'm coming in on the right side, over to the left and down on the left. And I heard a little click. That's the take up lever. Make sure you get in that area. Next, you have one guide at the top of the needle that you can just come across there. Yes. And then we'll use the needle threader. So we will also also do a close-up video of the needle threader. You'll get good at using that because 
every time you change colors for embroidery, you will have, that needle threader will be your friend. Now I'm going to just take my fabric and whenever you test out on fabric, make sure you sew on two layers. So did you notice I folded this fabric in half? So if you're reaching for a little scrap, fold it in half even if it's little and then go ahead. Now I don't have to lower the presser foot. As soon as I step on the foot control, the foot will lower for me and then it's ready to stitch. I'll start off with some locking stitches and then go ahead and stitch. Now, if at this time you hear anything that doesn't sound smooth or normal, that is probably where we have missed putting it, the thread in the bobbin tension or we didn't get something threaded up here. Stop, re-thread the machine, take all the thread out, thread it again, make sure that presser foot is up and then you're ready to go. Now, when you're done, if you go ahead and just sew to the end of your fabric, you can use your scissors, your selective thread cutter, and that will cut the thread and lift the foot up and you can pull it right on out. So then you can see, do you have the same looking stitch on the front as you do on the back? And I do, so I know that I'm ready to go and everything is looking fabulous. So threading the bobbin and threading the, um, the machine and uh, we are all ready to go. We'll get a little closer, show you about um, using that needle threader. We'll show you how to change feet and how to pick stitches next.